get us started, we need a suggestion from the audience of an object. Telescope. Oh. I heard telescope. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> it is made of brass. It is a very powerful telescope. It has a 100x magnifier. It's about five feet long. It is pointed directly at the sun. It has initials on the side inscribed in it that are S L P G. The telescope is atop of a tripod that is six feet high. It is the centerpiece of an entire observatory. The observatory is somewhat abandoned, but there is one person slowly walking around inside. That person is six feet tall. He has an eye patch on both of his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but only one eye patch across both of his eyes. <laughs> the viewer on the telescope has an interesting angle on both sides so the guy can see with his peripheral vision. <coughs> it is gleaming in the observatory, almost blinding the guy who has eye patches on his eyes. You are my source of knowledge about the universe. You were a really expensive purchase that I got from a grant. You are intimidating to all the other scientists. You are kind of ironic given my disability. <laughs> you are at one point the pride and joy of the Czech Republic space program. <laughs> you are very tall, but with a ladder a short person can use you as well. You're not very useful at night. You can cause a man to see things never before seen, or to be able to see nothing at all. Thou art a possibility to view outer space. Thou art a portal to another world. Thou art an expensive piece of equipment that NASA would probably waste money on. Thou art very difficult to use. Thou art really hard to reach. <laughs> Thou art a direct connection between the Czech Republic and the moon. <laughs> Thou art the magnifier of my flaws and all the flaws of the essentials of the universe. I am a perpetuator of dreams. I am a vestige of the golden age of Eastern European space travel. I am something that can help you see objects that are really far away if only I could see. I am taunting those that can't see. I am a magnifier of weaknesses. I am going blind. I am a powerful window into the unknown. I am Telescope. Woo! I know where this relationship is going. Oh, do you? I do. Why don't you tell me then? All right. <laughs> You're going to tell me your last name on our second date. <laughs> <laughs> we will court each other for six beautiful months. I will wed you in the Catholic Church. <laughs> <laughs> we will have 12 children grow old and die together. OK. <laughs> I'm going to tell you my vision of where this is going to go. OK. I'm going to leave here. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to file a restraining order at the courthouse. Yeah, yeah I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. And if I see you near me, like probably, I will beat you with a close object nearby. So we are not on the same page. Different, different visions there. <laughs> <laughs> just, um, just for a really intense. Yellow fan. Oh, how did you know? I just need someone with me. God. I mean, it's my favorite drink. It's a quality drink. <laughs> Sprite is just posing. <laughs> I mean, I feel like you know that from something. Did you interview my family or my friends prior to the second date about my favorite beverage? I don't even know your last name, Jonathan Smith. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I knew that, you know what, I knew this was going to be a terrible idea. Yep, here you are, stuck with an amazing guy who bought you a drink you like. <laughs> <laughs> You're very forward. For instance, did we have to sit this close to each other in the restaurant? There's no table between us. <laughs> Our food is on the floor. <laughs> I like my rib St. Louis style. <laughs> <laughs> I hate everything about the Midwest. So, once again. Once again. Not on the same page. Oh. I just agreed to go out with you because I was doing a favor for my friend. Oh. Our mutual friend. She said you really needed to go, go on a date. Oh, so our lifetime of bliss together is a favor to our mutual friend? Mm -hmm. Once again, I don't think you heard me about the restraining order. Um, in fact, I feel like I should perhaps call 911 now. I feel like you may be plotting something nefarious. I'm just going to uh, plot an amazing evening. Okay. <laughs> You were the pride and joy of the Czech space program. Yes. Now you have ruined it all! No, I, I didn't ruin it. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. The spaceship exploded on its own. It's, it's, uh... Sergei, you were supposed to be in it! And you ran away from it screaming and throwing up your arms and then it exploded. Clearly you did something in that. <laughs> I am very well trained. I am the best Czech astronaut in all of Czech. I thought you were! <laughs> I thought you were. We lost our five best monkeys in that spaceship. <laughs> I know. I, it was the monkey's fault. The, the monkeys. The did monkey's it. fault. Yeah, the monkeys did it. They, they, they pushed the controls and they, they followed the wrong sequence. You, they, that was your job. Why did you think it was the monkey's job to press the sequence? They're monkeys. They were there That's for the, the experiments. <laughs> I do not know how to start the spaceship. It's going. Oh god, oh no! <laughs> Seriously, the monkeys were talking? <laughs> I understand them. I am just I'm an amazing astronaut. I'm an amazing scientist. No. They were talking English or you can understand monkey? <laughs> I understand monkey. It's very similar to Czech. It's just <laughs> I thought it was more like Slovak. Oh, uh, Slovak. No Slovaks. Uh, no. But enough about him. <laughs> okay. It was my fault. I didn't do my training. I was just going, I was hanging out too late at night drinking wonderful Czech beers and enjoying <laughs> wonderful Czech ladies. It's just, it's hard. I'm the best astronaut in all of Czech. The ladies love me. Bar keeps giving me free beers. It's just, you know, you know what that's like. You must imagine what that's like. I did, I did have my good days. I did have my good days out with the bar keeps. And he checked ladies. <laughs> but it's good stuff. But why did you let the monkeys take control of this spaceship? Look, you, they were you're supposed to be performing experiments on them, not not going back and forth and using them using them for your little games and using them to impress the ladies. I don't understand. Do you love me or do you love the ladies? Stop playing your little games with me. Look, Josepher, you are great at getting me the ladies. So, I love you for helping me get the ladies. And I love your face too, but <laughs> not in the same way. I'm a chimp who's gone all the way through astronaut training. I'm better than this. I deserve your love. Uh, you weren't supposed to have self-knowledge. That wasn't part of the deal, okay? Yeah, yeah. So we've been flying 747s together for a good 20 years now, so I think it's about time I let you in on a little secret. Can I have a bottle of You can open your eyes. It's uh, usually not, uh... Bill, I'm blind to the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Control the tower, we are now taxing for liftoff. <laughs> oh, that's why you have me cover my eyes, okay. Tower control, you're here for liftoff. I just, I just wanted us to be on the same page. It was a very, very vulnerable yeah, no. moment for me. I just wanted us to feel like equals for that yeah. moment when I made that revelation. Is all right. No, I, you know, if you would have said that with me with my eyes open, I would have been a little nervous. But I think, you know, we're we're good. We're good. Actually, I'm gonna close my eyes because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, be unequal. You know. 
Power exactly. control. We're gonna have you lift off directly into the sun. Fair enough. Head and left. <laughs> um, I, I know this must be coming as kind of a surprise to you, seeing as we are. Uh, We've been doing this for a long time. time. I, I have a gift. I don't know what to tell you. How did you do the written test? <laughs> I just. It's the same way I'm flying this plane. I put my just fingers on it and I just, I feel it. Like it's braille, but they're not even braille letters. I just feel them in my brain. Like I feel the stick and the throttle and the little thing you talk into to talk to the guy in the tower. Like that. Yeah, it's, it's labeled, but you don't get it right. I get it. Why would I know it wasn't on a label? Right, exactly. No, this is, this is fascinating. I, look, man, like, I'm, I, I'll be honest, I'm a little jealous. Like, you're doing this without your senses. I, I barely passed flight school and I have eyes. Maybe what you ought to do is just get rid of one of your senses. Power <laughs> control. We think that is an awful idea. <laughs> God damn it, I'm the captain here. You gotta learn to trust yourself. I'm gonna learn to trust myself and not listen to that idiot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut my ears off. Do it. <laughs> uh, you're gonna, like, how am I gonna with power control setting? You gotta trust yourself. All right. <laughs> <laughs> First day of space camp! Oh, oh, camp. Oh, Who's excited? I am! I am! Oh, we are thrilled to have you guys here. We're just really excited uh, for our next generation of astronauts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think we're stronger than ever. 
<laughs> I think that I will beat you with a blunt object if you don't move away from me right now. <laughs> Son, if you're going to caress that lady, you got to do it from 75 feet away. <laughs> I feel like we're not on the same page. Um, typically, uh, one of my trials for violating a restraining order, right. mm -hmm. yeah. when the witness, the, the victim, is here, uh, the violator does not come up onto the witness stand with her. Yes. Your Honor, this is a frequent problem that I've been having with this individual and the restraining order, in that he doesn't seem to do any restraining things that he's been assigned. This doesn't Honor, seem to be an open and shut case, but he does seem like a nice guy. Your Honor, I would like to enter into court records that the plaintiff smells like strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is romantic, Your Honor. That is <laughs> is it everyone? How is there no legal recourse? What is happening to me right now? Order in my heart. <laughs> I don't understand. Why won't anyone listen to me or believe me? This is horrible. Listen to every word you've said for the last six months, my sister. <laughs> I listen to you on the phone. I listen to you. Yes, because when I lay you are. Next to you. <laughs> I, I've tried so many ways. I've set my dogs on you. They, made friends with them. You did. <laughs> you did. I've thrown objects at your face. Hot hat. I've just snapped <laughs> them away. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. I don't understand. What can I do, Your Honor? What can I do? You can love me. He's got a point. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, I am Jack, and I have monkeys that fly from space to space, and I, I slept with him. Oh, you know, those Czech astronauts, it happens to all of us. It's okay. so appealing. I know, I know. Oh, wait, okay, so what else happened? Like, on an emotional level, I understand that, like, monkeys can't really write code to get, like, spaceships to space mm -hmm. and orbiting things, but part of me was like, what if this man is... Right? Uh, I don't know if your fan or friend introduced me, but uh, you know I am a Czech astronaut. I've taught monkeys to talk and to feel uh, I, as if they are human beings. I've heard, <laughs> I've heard this. Uh, it yes. just doesn't seem plausible to me exactly. Uh, but um, they they fly the uh, the spaceship themselves. They can write it in language that is like Czech. It's still monkey, but it's like check. You love me now? I love you. Oh, oh my yes. god, I totally believe everything you say to me. I got some Czech beer too that uh, I actually made this myself. I have a brewery in, at my home. I, uh, I can do that as well. Oh my god. So, the man I loved put me in a rocket and I exploded. <laughs> No, literally. Literally oh. blew me up on a spaceship. Because you said rocket, I immediately went to like, <laughs> So is your, but your heart is not literally exploded. No, that's, that's figured, still a metaphor. No. Okay. So I guess I'm just wondering if, uh, you know, a, a chimp you met in a bar and you wanted to help a guy out through a rebound. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not totally implausible. I mean, you are a monkey who's old enough to drink and speak to me at this bar. I'm told that language is very much like Czech. <laughs> <laughs> I just, yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm sorry. Sometimes I speak in English, sometimes I think it's Czech. So that might work. And you think I can help you, little monkey? I think that's, uh... Slightly condescending, but I'm okay. I'm <laughs> ready to drive. Okay. Ready to pass this driver's test. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
I am uh, totally equipped to drive. I have totally uh, functioning vision right now. So uh, yeah, ten and two. Okay. Yes, I am really glad that you're my driving instructor. Oh yes. Okay. Uh, all right. So we haven't hit anything yet, right? What? <laughs> okay. Things are going well. Um, I'm just uh, gonna. <laughs> Stop the car, but uh, yeah, I'm still going. Hey, I'm still uh, going. What? I... Wee -wee 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 okay. Yeah. Son, can you roll that window down? What? Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a little, it's a little lever. Yeah, yeah, I got that. I got it. You got to turn it clockwise. I got it. Sir? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you see how fast you were going? Uh, yeah, I could see it. It's snowing? <laughs> I can read uh, those little. This is the, the driving instructor, so uh, everything's okay. This was uh, totally, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just driving really well, driving really fast. I know that guy. He was my pilot brother for like 20 years. We got fired because we got exposed. Oh, Bill, what the hell are you doing? What? <laughs> Not letting you teach people to drive? You're a cop? Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long time, buddy. Uh, so everything's okay then. <laughs> uh, you guys are longtime friends, and I'm driving even though I can't. Uh, I mean, I can't. The end of my career. Well, it was a bad crash, but nobody was seriously hurt, and, and we're still. Friends. You didn't. What? <laughs> uh, do you guys want to hash this out on your own time? I'm trying to get my uh, driver's license here. <laughs> Uh, all right, all right. I'm, I'm not going to interfere with you with your new job here. Uh, you just uh, you drive safe, okay, sir? Can he see now? I, I don't, I don't, uh, yeah, you can see. Sure. <laughs> what? Uh, sweetheart, yeah. I know you were really excited about getting your driver's license <laughs> when you turned 16. Uh, um, hon, A, you're blind. <laughs> B, you were sitting on the wrong side of the car. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
I met you many moons ago. <laughs> Where are you? Yes. You gave me check beer. I Mommy, do. no. Yes. So why are all these people clinging to you? Because they are horrible Americans. We love her. Get away, children. Yes. Get away. Oh, my God. I'm free. I'm free. I'm no, free. you're not free. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Sure. Women don't go anywhere without their men. This is horrible. <laughs> Get along just fine. What? <laughs> 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 